what's up guys dick in here and this is dying light our first look and i'm just gonna kind of go around a little bit kill a couple zombies and talk about zombies and the parkour elements and as we cover this game more then i will cover more so i do like this game it does have its flaws but it is a pretty fun game and as you see it is very beautiful if this stuff will go away i know what i'm doing okay so it is very pretty it does have a slow start, and I will say that the story is a lot of fetch quest stuff, but this really is, in a sense, Far Cry meets zombies. Except for about the little mini chopper. I do miss the mini chopper, but it's still a cool game, and I want to show you some stuff around here. Look at all these missing peoples. I love you, Mom. Please find me. Aww. That's sad. But the world itself is really, really cool to explore and look at. It has a whole bunch of little nick and cranny stuff like this. Like, you know, missing person stuff. It's really fun to explore. I will say, though, a lot of this stuff, like looting, isn't really that great in this game. Like, I've been playing a lot of H1Z1, and I expect the looting to kind of be like that, and it's not. But, here's some zombies. Let's mess with them. So, when you first play this game, you're going to find the zombies aren't as easy as you think they would be like I would imagine you could probably like take something and just shove it in its head and pull it out like Walking Dead and they'd be dead but it's not like that you gotta clink them with it like a hundred times hopefully there'll be some kind of power I can unlock you know when I get a full upgraded guy we'll definitely make more videos and like go crazy but zombies can be pretty annoying and I do have the fire the molotovs help a lot but if you get in a group of like five or six of them you need to run if you don't have any molotovs you need to go because the little stick thing a little sharp Oh, I hate these guys. A little sharp cutter like I have isn't going to do anything. Yeah, these guys that run up to you really quick, they're like, just turned. Like, what happens, like, when they just turn, they're, like, super energetic and super fast. And when they get older, they get kind of slower and dumb like this one. They're just sitting there with one arm. <laughs> I'm not saying the combat's shitty. I do like the combat in this game. I just feel that you should be able to kind of just stick something in a zombie's head and pull it out and they're dead. Not just whack them with it a hundred times. But again, I haven't unlocked everything yet. So let's move on to the parkour elements. Now, I think parkouring is really fun on here. But I think it needs a little bit more polishing. Just because you have to kind of look and jump at the same time of what you're grabbing. And that kind of throws me off. And the grab button is kind of a trigger button. And so, I don't know. It kind of threw me off. And it did take me a minute to get used to. But I do like the parkour in this game. It does feel like... I know everyone says Mirror Edge, but I don't, I don't really play Mirror's Edge that much. It feels like Assassin's Creed to me. It's definitely not as advanced. There's like one thing I can loot. That's why I keep going. I keep wanting to kind of complain about the looting system because it kind of bothers me. But I do have a video coming up soon that shows a good spot to find a lot of medical supplies. And that is a very helpful thing. So I think the city is really pretty. I do think the zombies are fun to kill. They could be a wee, wee bit easier. And there could be some more guns, but on all, I do like Dying Light, and uh, my first impressions are very positive. So, we'll be covering a lot more come. Ducks can fly! So don't forget to like and subscribe uh, for more Dying Light for PS4. Talk to you guys later. Peace.